welcome back to this is the fourth episode of Vectorland. Already turning out better than I thought it would. And today I'm going to work on the next coaster, which is going to be a uh, kitty coaster. So the, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be like a fairly long ride, maybe with multiple lift hills, but we'll see what happens. Um, last episode did a bunch of fences, some bushes, more theming, uh, entrance sign, and I believe the station building and everything. So I basically like kind of finished up this ride even though I don't think it's really finished yet. So I think it's gonna be the dragon coaster. I kind of want it to be like a terrain multiple lift hill family coaster. I want it to be very unique. It's gonna be more of a kitty coaster than a family coaster. But I just want it to be more long and more advanced with like multiple lift hills, multiple trains, you know. I want it to basically be like a aerodynamics mine train, but not, you know. But where's the where's the dang? Oh, there it is. So I'm probably just gonna build this right in two meter instead of making it three meter, then converting it over to 1.5 meter, like I did with the RMC, because I feel like smoothness is not the top priority with this ride. I don't know what manufacturer this would be from. Probably from Vacoma, right? Or should I use another track that's not this track? Wait, let me look at how the real v new gen Vacoma kitty coasters look. Their track like has a spine, so I'm gonna use a different track for this. Does that kind of work? Kind of does. Works good enough. Actually, how many cars do, do these have? Ten cars. Okay, so I might need to... Add one more thing to the station. This ride's gonna be very tame. Will it be able to make it over this? I cannot doubt it. Yeah, there's no way it's making it over this, right? Ah, it made it, but not really. Maybe this drop looks a bit extreme for a supposedly family kitty coaster. Let's see how this works. Ooh. It's still scary, but it's not like, you know, too scary. Now for the second lift hill. I think that I'm gonna make this one probably just about the same height as the other one. Does it work? Please make it. Okay, perfect. Doesn't quite give you air time. Will it make it back to the station? Okay, that's good enough. I already have a name idea for this. It's gonna be an inside joke and none of you guys are gonna get it, but whatever. Now just to smooth it, which should be really quick, because I don't need to convert it. So I can just select a lot of pieces. There's like enough and I can just click smooth forward because the mods help a lot. How smooth is this? This is definitely the most exciting part of the ride. Drop into off axis hill to the biggest drop. S hill gives actual air time. Another small hill kind of gives air time. Yep, that seems pretty good for this park. For those of you who are wondering why the chain is not here, that's because 
This coaster originally doesn't have a chain lift, or any lift, or an LSM launch, or anything like that. Um, but the mod adds it in, but there's no texture for it, so the track just disappears. So what do you do when the track disappears? If you save as a blueprint, blah, 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 blah. And then, do that. Find that blueprint, which now that I think about it, me just naming it random gibberish probably wasn't a good idea because now I have to find it manually. What was this it? Yeah, okay. So now that you have this, what you do is you place it somewhere else, you delete the station. Actually, you can delete pretty much everything else besides the lift hill or launch or whatever you're trying to add track back to. And then you go to where the lift hill is supposed to be, like this. And then you just make a normal track, same with the other lift hill. Uh, it doesn't have the chain lift on it, and that's why you'll see on a lot of my coasters there's no magnets for launches, there's no like chains for chain lifts. Uh, that's because of this. And what you do is you come back over here, do advance to move, get it to the right height, and then you just line it up. It takes a while to line it up right. It's never going to be perfect, unless if it is, but like. Pretty much never gonna be perfect. Pretty sure that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. So now, it has lifts, kinda. And in order to, like, get the mod, that lets you put a launch on pretty much anything, or a lift hill on pretty much anything, like this. Um, that is called the Realism Overhaul mod, and it's in a Discord server or on a website called Nexus Mods if you wanna get that. If you want any more help, you can leave your questions in the comments. So now, I need to color it. I want just red track. Then you have to go back over to these, and then you gotta repaint it the same color. Now time to add supports. I am not going to custom support because I suck. But if you're wondering where the transfer track and maintenance shed will be, I'm gonna put it Actually, I'll do that right now. Transfer track will be right here. I don't really know how this transfer track would work. Eh, it would probably, like, it wouldn't really work, but, like... Eh... Oh, I'm gonna change it. I don't like it. Now, this would probably work. It would, like, need to cut off one of these tires, though. Actually, no. You just need to cut straight down there. Wait, no. Yeah, so then it would... Okay, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, back to supports. Oh, I can't put... Oh, does this not have a catwalk? It does have a cat... Why can't I put a pet... Why can't I put a catwalk? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Inaugural test run. Outer bay. Yeah, this seems very Vacoma. Bro, it crawls through that. This seems pretty good. I want to see where that airtime moment happens, though. But this... to zero, exactly. Then how smooth is this final transition? Because I never really got to test it out. Fine. Now for the station whatever, I kind of have to use a um, castle, right? Or else it's just not right. Right.
Attack. What the frick? Why can't I? Oh. Yeah, whatever. That's weird. What the frick? Why, why won't it work? This is so dumb. There are no flaws with this path system. I guess that is a bit tight. Please, for the love of God, work. The planet coaster pathing experience. Connect. Damn it. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. I think I'm going to leave this half finished here. Well, this probably isn't even half finished, but, you know. You can see what it's supposed to be. And I think that this has been fairly successful so far. Nothing really similar to this exists in real life, so that's pretty cool. Would probably have a bit of a valuing issue here. Or here. Probably here. Back one. I value it, man. I vowed there. This catwalk really wouldn't help that much, but it would help a little bit. So I know this episode is definitely a bit shorter. Next episode I'll do some theming, finish this building, transfer track, uh, what else, probably some scenery, but for this episode I think I'm done. But we have the second coaster in this park, albeit not really a big one, but whatever. I think the next coaster will probably be a fairly large B&M invert, because I don't know why, but I'm like, really... I really want to make one, so I'm, I'm gonna make one. But so that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. As I said, next video, got some more stuff to do. So yeah, goodbye.